Excellent! Oops. 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 Awesome hardware. Awesome hardware. Awesome hardware. We're live. That was like completely spontaneous. Goddamn. And unplanned. I that's swear we didn't plan that at all, yeah. That's pretty good. That's our new intro, guys. We should stop doing tech and we should start doing like beatboxing and like impromptu live um, I, rapping. I think we stuff. already have. I think I think it's, it's it has begun. <laughs> Hello, hey hey everyone, uh, welcome to Awesome Hardware. Uh, this is a show that Kyle and I do every Tuesday evening at 5:30 p.m. Pacific time on Twitch.tv/AwesomeHardware. Uh, we upload either half of the show uh, to our YouTube channels afterwards. So you're watching uh, the first half of episode 24. Today's date is August 4th, 2015. That it is. These are the important things that you need to know about. Yes. M maybe. What beer are we drinking? Possibly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's start with the most important stuff let, first. Yeah, let, yeah, let's get that out of the way. Uh, um, but thanks, thanks to you guys who are joining us. Oh, mic, mic volume is low. Mic it up. Mic volume is low. Low people. Yeah, you're right. I didn't, I didn't even look at those knobs. You put this thing into a backpack and look, take it from one place to another. The knobs get messed and up. And the knobs get turned. Look at the knobbers on that. All right. Sexy beast. I pan. Why well, I don't want to pan anywhere. La 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 la, right. la 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 Guys, is that better? Alright, we're hearing better, we're hearing la, better. La 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 It's August 5th <clears> Some <throat> in other places, yes. Thanks uh, thanks to anyone who's joining us from a global audience. Yeah. With people all over the world. We know that it's uh, um, a weird time for you over there, so we appreciate time. the effort. Alright, um, Kyle, why don't you open these beers? Okay. Wait, here's... here's oh, so I'm here's your puzzle that. service full today, uh, sir. Meanwhile, I'm going to go through our typical announcements. Uh, we have a, we do have a new announcement about our, our shirts and our stores. Yes. Uh, and that is that starting as of last week, retroactively to last week, uh, we're doing combined shipping now. Yes. So um, if you happen to want to order something from both Kyle's store and my store, even though they're separate, place both orders and then you will get... Okay, five dollar. I think it's about a five dollar refund. Yeah. Uh, after the fact, so you'll get like two fifty back from each of us, which is which is nice if you're uh, you know ordering because both they're all coming from the same place and then you get everything in the same box. And that and way you don't have to double down yeah. on shipping. And it should work which out for nice. everyone that way. So, uh, guys, if you want to check out my store, it's store.paulsarbor.net. Uh, I have shirts. I have uh, new thumb screw shirts, and then I also have uh, glassware and stuff like that, such as the fantastic pint glass that Kyle's drinking out of right now. Mm. I also have mugs. Do we have the mug of death or destiny or whatever? Uh, the it is? the uh, chalice of malice. The chalice or, of malice. Uh, <laughs> malice chalice. Ooh, I like that. It's it's somewhere. You asked me to bring it over. Well, right? we so. can get we can grab it for face uh, um, face off. Meanwhile, if you guys want to order some from from somewhere. Kyle's store, it is uh, awesomesaucenetwork.com/store. Mm -hmm. uh, he also has a wide variety of shirts, including his CPU cooler shirts. Uh, and guys, we'll be we'll be keeping an eye on our stores throughout the show, and we will be giving. Uh, a Johnson shout out to anyone who happens to order right. while we are live, and um, we we're going to attempt to do that in between segments this time, rather yeah. than, rather than just we're going to save all the Johnsons till the end. We get very excited. That way, you guys about... can like prepare if you're if you're wearing headphones or something. Yeah. You can kind of like turn down your volume like but, ten notches. Where did my store Where did my store even go? I had it up a second ago. I had <laughs> some actually pre-show Johnsons to shout out. Uh, big Johnsons to uh, Randy, Mary, and Eric. Um, all have placed orders just today. Um, I don't know if they were trying to match up with the show or not, but they did, and they get a Johnson. All and the Johnsons. Start out with the Johnson. By the way, all the Johnsons on the show are big. They are, yeah, they're, they're huge. Uh, meanwhile, we're drinking some beer. Kyle's drinking out of my glass. I'm drinking out of this glass, which is a Gigabyte G1 gaming glass, uh, 100 series press event. Oh, hmm, perhaps maybe some foreshadowing. Perhaps there. some foreshadowing, since we're using this glass. Kyle, what are you drinking? Yes. Uh, I'm drinking some uh, some hop, hop stupid ale from Lagunitas. Nice. That uh, that you picked up for me. Thank I you. Did. It's eight percent, so I'm gonna sip it slowly. Beautiful. And yeah, it's 102 IBUs. Oh, that means, that means it's it that means can, it's hoppy. Can power a small vehicle. Uh, that too. Uh, I am drinking Wreck Alley Imperial Stout by Carl Strauss Brewing Company. There's the bottle. I wonder how many people um, are just gonna type out wrecked in chat. Wrecked. <laughs> Maybe a few. Wrecked alley stuff. This is 9.5%, so I'll be careful. All right. I, we, we didn't do much pre-show anything. This is also no. going to be, we're going to try to keep the show short, even though we're all rambling on like we usually do yes. at the beginning. Yes, this is also um, another Kyle, announcement. Kyle, another announcement, is getting married. I am. In like... Friday. 
Three days. Yeah. In like three days. So, Kyle, thank you for still doing the show today. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> just mm-hmm. pounding the Anytime, Paul. I'm doing fine. You know, Wait. I'm doing great. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers to everyone joining us. Cheers to Kyle getting married. Have, congratulations, but, Kyle. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And thank all of you. I will not be streaming the wedding. Nope. No wedding stream. Otherwise, I probably won't be getting married. That's delicious. My fiance will kill me. <laughs> all right. Um, oh, and Cell, uh, Cell's here. Hey, what's up, he's, Cell? He's eating. Uh, beer on the keyboard. Now we're gonna enjoy be, your we're foodies. Gonna very, we're gonna be very careful with the beers today. Enjoy the noms. So. Um, all right, so we're on my half of the show, and my half of the show features a bunch of uh, interesting technology news. Um, but actually, what we're gonna start out with is a new segment. Wait, what am I, what am I starting out? I'm, I'm all over the place here. You know, what? I didn't do a tweet. I need a tweet. Oh yeah, we are totally uh, not on top of it today. Holy crap, we are live. Uh, eh, wait, what's what's our channel again? So my God, we're live. Yep, uh, our channel is Awesome Hardware. For those of you, <laughs> or Paul, who didn't know that. I, I, I can't type is. and talk at the same time. That's that's my problem. It's difficult. Okay. Um, but yes, uh, let's start off with, with uh, what my first segment is. Let me pull up my, my show document. <laughs> I know what my first segment is. Where the heck This is why we go? need top hats and canes, so that I can just it is. break out, I you know, say, like Kyle, a... Kyle, do something entertaining. Like, like a 20s Kyle dance. It. Oh, I know what da, 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 da. All right, so our first segment here, we're also trying to do lower thirds, uh, if we can. We're first, using OBS at my house, so it's a little trickier. Our first trickier. segment here is Awesome Sauce. It's called Awesome Sauce News. What? This is a new segment I just created. Uh, I came up with the name all on my own. So wait, wait, wait. Uh, this is an original segment that we've never. <laughs> no, that's that's my. We've never done before. That's the original name of my no, made, my YouTube I'm, channel. I made that earlier today. No, you didn't. That that's my face. That's me. That's that's a picture of my head. No, I hired a I hired a model for that. What? Well, Look at the bone structure. No, that's totally. A lot, you can go to my YouTube page. There's it's, a lot more bone structure in there. I don't know why you're all right. stealing <laughs> my identity. <laughs> uh, also, they're taking bets in chat on how long before you get wrecked and spill your beer. <laughs> uh, Fractal Josh is here Not too. Not before the What's wedding. Up, Fractal Josh. Ayo. All right. So, um, awesome sauce news. So, I have a segment that I've done before called Oh Joy, where I talk about really, really bad and terrible news, and I offer no, uh, no suggestions or ways out of it. Mm-hmm. So, awesome sauce news is my answer to that. I'm trying to like balance the in with the yang, right? So, uh, awesome sauce news is good news, right? Okay. okay yeah. So that's, yes, that's it is. just a general idea. So, in when we t- want to talk about good news. Um, we, oh, you don't gonna, have to tell me that, by the way. It's, it's my, right. ch- it's my channel. It's my, my that's, freaking name. All right, so uh, here's here's some news from uh, where is it? Ant- Oregon. Yeah. Oregon. Um, uh, talking about broadband as a utility. Um, we all know that uh, you know there was a, there was a Title II stuff that went through uh, with the FCC recently and all that good stuff. But here's a story uh, from Sandy, Oregon, where uh, broadband has been a utility for quite some time now. In fact, like 15 years. Um, was when was when SandyNet uh, originally started as a DSL company, and they have uh, expanded, and now they've done fiber. And basically, with D- with 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 the ISP set up as a utility, um, the folks in Sandy, Oregon, are jo- enjoying uh, forty dollars for hundred megabits uh, internet connection, mm-hmm. and that's uh, that's that's symmetrical, so both ways, hundred up, hundred down, or sixty dollars for a gigabit line. Nice. Yeah. They've uh, been installing fiber, and they've almost rolled the entire thing out. That's how it should and be. And it's just, yeah, it's like, I'm like, wow, that must be nice. It's like, so that's, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's a city of like 10,000 people, and, um, you know, it, it, I think it just goes to show that r- really the the problems that ISPs say they have with, like, competition and all that stuff, it's all just a bunch of bollocks. Yeah. Uh, and, and really, they're just they're just trying to make more money. It's stupid. True. Um, so I, I, like, I like examples like this because um, they show... That's the ISP lobby and everything that they like to talk about is just full of garbage, yep. um, and and it's it's a good story. So I thought that would fit well for Awesome Sauce News. I'm just gonna be a little bitter every time you say that that segment name. I'm on, also wearing on your half I'm wearing show. Awesome Sauce News. Okay, you shirt. redeem yourself. That's if I you, cut off the box. You're, See, you're awesome forgiven sauce partially. News. Oh no, it says network. <laughs> uh, they're connecting 50 new Different. homes each week. Each week, uh, they have a 40 year master plan that they're rolling forward with. Anyway, uh, that's uh, that's story one in awesome sauce news. That thumbnail reminds me a lot of uh, Logan's Highlander video for oh, some this reason. One? Just, it looks like it just reminds Sandy, me of Sandy, Oregon. That. Yeah. Home of the sixty dollar gig. I don't know. I haven't watched this video. I don't know if it's good. It's brought to you by the Institute but, for Local Self Reliance. I bet they have like 
info facts and stuff that pop up. Nah, no one and, wants um, those. That, that's not volume. what this show's about. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's let's move on though. Move to the next story. What do we uh, got? Panasonic. I'm I'm very excited about this. Uh, the future of technology and all that good stuff. Uh, Panasonic has opened up a 3D replicate me booth fitted with 120 cameras. I read about this. Did you? I was going to do a story on it, and, and then I realized you had already, already you had already taken it. Um, we also Kyle, Kyle, we didn't we didn't meet up and plan the show early uh, or early in the afternoon like we usually do today because um, Kyle was doing so much wedding stuff. So we yeah. we planned separately. I got up first thing this morning, stole all the good stories. That's yeah. why I, might have I, I started so prepping good. for today's show about an hour ago. Yeah. And yes. then when I opened up the Google Doc that Paul had already like shared with me, like all the good stories yep. were already listed all under his stories. half of the show. I'm like, oh. So we've talked about five Thanks. Months. Fiber in Sandy, Oregon. Solid. And we're talking about this Panasonic uh, Replicate Me booth fitted with 120 cameras. So um, what you got in this Replicate Me booth, this is in Osaka, by the way. So any of you guys who are in Osaka can go visit this. Is 120 Panasonic Lumix, Lumix GH4 cameras. You can see them in this image right here. Lovely. They surround you and they, they, they fire all at once, which is kind of cool. Because 3D, uh, 3D scanning like this in before, especially for something as large as a person, could take like 10 plus minutes right um so they just it's like pop all at once and they can shot. get it said they can get resolution down as fine as like it's like a, a strand of hair wow. which, which is pretty cool um then it creates these uh these replicants right uh the replicants are brought to life through i believe an ancient uh pagan ritual um they require Called the blood of at least printing. 12 virgins uh and then the replicants come to life and then there's a procedure that Panasonic has developed where you can do what is uh, known as a soul transfer to basically take your soul, transfer it into the uh, replicant's body, and then you can live anew as a, with a young, new, and healthy body. They're, they're just getting crazier and crazier with the type of filament that, that they're last using for part, these 3D I didn't read printers. the whole story. That last part I just kind of inferred based on the first paragraph or ah. two. But... I am looking forward to so like what if you could if if you could like replicate yourself as a younger person and then inhabit that person, what would you do with your old body? Sell it. Sell it? Why? Yeah. It's old. No one's gonna buy it. There's a bunch. There's a bunch. Of, wait, is it like an, an alive body? But is it my like still like dicking around like I always am, or am I just like no? Like, you my lifeless so the, body. You, they have. <laughs> they, you have created a replica of you. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming that you know through the pagan ritual and everything, it's a young version of you. Because else, why else would you want to do all that? Right. And 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 you're old now. So let's say you're much older than you are now. Yeah. And and you're, you've just transferred your consciousness into this young to body. To a young body. So now oh, you have the old body that's there. No soul, no consciousness, and it's just oh. it's just a body. It's just a tank. What it, what what would you do with it? Probably make YouTube videos with it. Okay. I'd, I'd probably become a ventriloquist. Do like a weekend at Bernie's kind Hello, of Hello, I'm old Kyle. Old How Kyle. are you doing, hot Kyle? <laughs> and I just like talk to myself. That's Then you just I get a kick out of it. So it wouldn't be too much different than your typical, <laughs> typical daily life Basically now. nothing would change. Yeah. That's what I would do. Except you'd have a life size. What would you do? Human, what would you do with your old dog. old dead body or your old what? lifeless body? Necrophilia. That was my other option. All right, but uh, moving right along. All right, one more <laughs> one more segment here in the uh, good news uh, bit to talk about, and this is uh, this is really a a triumph for America. Um, you know, you know, America. We get we get a lot of what, what do we get? And I'm proud and we get, we, to be we, an American. Yeah, you know, we need to make America Where great again and stuff. No so free. we're constantly under attack, right? People are constantly trying to. It's horrible. Undermine America and attack us, because uh, I, why? Because we're Americans. Because they, they hate our freedom or something like that. <laughs> so what's happened is uh, what we have, what we're dealing with here is a robot invasion. Now we've talked in the past about robots, and Skynet. androids, Skynet. I mean, we like we like to tell you guys about all the things you should be afraid of with technology taking over the world and killing everyone and enslaving humanity, or killing some people and enslaving the rest. I should say. Um, but here's really a feel-good story, so I wanted to include it with uh, with the awesome sauce news here. Uh, okay. And this is uh, America proves too tough uh, for this robot, which was clearly an invasive species coming in here. Hello, um, I am to, Hitchbot, to take a over hitchhiking robot our country. from Sounds like a big win for our country. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, wait, wait, wait. This is no. This isn't a big win for our country. This is. I, I read about this. This is not. This is not. This shouldn't be in the awesome sauce news. All right. So segment. This is uh, bad. This. This. This this robot, which was trained in espionage and spy work, had already traveled, no, that's gaining not... experience uh, through Canada, Germany, and the Netherlands. No, you got it all uh, wrong. I, then they, they I think... trained him to infiltrate America, 
and I think steal our freedom was what he tried to do. So we have he's just uh, a, we have Americans who have, have taken up the stand to protect our country. Uh, but they're and buckling him fend up. Off he's cute. This robot invasion. Uh, well, enough of that video. Who it's, would do such a thing? It's Look propaganda it. video. It's making you feel. And now, as you can see, there's a, these are just the remains of it. Um, there's a video. There's a video here we can see. Some Paul, you are, you are too proud to be an now, American. Now, this, this video footage has already been uh, shown to be uh, fake. This is this is not real. So this is a dramatic reenactment of what uh, no doubt happened here. Okay, that I can believe. Um, so you can see here the robot is is is, is behind this, this bin right here. And then you can see this Patriot. See Patriot walks over, identifies the threat. you got to identify the threat, you see, first off. And then he walks over and he takes immediate action. He does not look like to, a... To remove the threat, protect America. He doesn't look like a, a patriotic citizen. He looks he looks like and, a scumbag. Uh, I believe he just beats the crap out of this robot, uh, which is... Yeah, and that's that's pretty much it. Oh, like, he's kicking it and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. So oh, can, yeah, no. Look at that, look at don't, that. don't do that. So people are already creating dramatic re reenactments of this uh, hero's story. That's whole. Uh, that's and we don't, even, hero we don't even have the hero's name, so um, we just need to... Did you say you were going to talk about this on your half of the show, too? Yeah, I, I do have okay. some things to say about this. Yeah, although right, so a very gonna, different take than yours, we're gonna so come, we're stay gonna come tuned back for to that. This. Yeah. We're going to come back to this, and, and God God bless the heroes protecting America. All right, that's, that's, an, that's all for Awesome Hardware. That's terrible. Uh, let's, let's move to my next segment. Uh, you mean Awesome Sauce News? I'm just, sorry, Awesome Sauce News. <laughs> and that's all for the show today, that's guys. That's all for the show. See you next week. Uh, yeah. Wait, I got to... Wait, this is... OBS, man. Southside, fool. Not... OBS, not quite as effective for changing lower thirds as... <laughs> no, there's other better ways to set up OBS. Um, but I'm we don't use them. I'm just not used to We it. don't utilize any right. of the features. Next up... Because that's what kind of show this is. Next up... Is Sword Fight. Damn it, is Sword Fight. There it is. <laughs> All right. I have to keep scrolling. I you hate... know it. You love it. I hate scrolling in a tiny little window. It's where Paul has a banana and I have a popsicle, and we smack them around against each other. All right, it's time for Sword Fight. Um, this is where we introduce a controversial topic. We ask you guys for your feedback. Kyle and I argue uh, as much as we can. We try to be very catty and, and <clears throat> like, like bitchy to each other as well at the same time. And then, um, and then we see if our arguments persuaded you at all. Um, now, I'll be on a Sword Fight. Oh, we should, we should do a Johnson check. People, people <laughs> mentioning that. No, dismiss. Nothing. We got nothing. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we got absolutely, absolutely nothing. That's totally fine, but I'm glad I checked. Uh, all right. <laughs> Moving right Moving along. Let me close some of these damn windows. <laughs> Too many windows open. All right, so here's here's the dilemma that we've encountered. I need a good example of this. Uh, I got a Johnson. Kyle got a Johnson. I got a Johnson from Carl. Carl Thanks, from Carl. New York. From Sydney, New York. He got a, a CPU cooler shirt, of Ooh. course. Thank you, sir. Uh, and hey, maybe I'll do a meetup while I'm at New York. Because uh, I'll be in New York next week. Oh, yeah, you're going to New York. Uh, it's a mini honeymoon that uh, my fiance and I are taking. I surprised her with some tickets. You might have saw the tweet. I did. But hey, if I do a meetup, Carl, you and I, we're going to have a, we're gonna sit down and have some New York pizza. Or whatever the hell New York's famous for. Uh, I just came back from Chicago. I had the Chicago-style pizza. Mm. Mm. It was good. Mm. Sounds like, I could sounds only like a, I could only eat like one or two pieces though. I thought I thought Wait, you were only gonna have sausage about? parties with me. What am I talking about? Come on, what's up with that? I got three Johnsons. I don't there know. There you go. Talking. I it just took How do a you... second to refresh. I don't know. Uh, Johnson, big Johnson. Shout out to Carl. So Carl uh, took advantage of perhaps the nice. combined shipping. So Carl, you should be getting a bit of a refund for for some of your shipping costs. Uh, also, Alex and William. Big Johnsons. Nice. Big old Johnsons. Big, big fat Johnsons. Big old double Johnsons all, all, all over the place. Johnsons in your face. All right, uh, let's move on with Sword Fight, though. Yeah. So here's here's a question that I that I have that I've aligned up for Sword Fight, and this is really uh, it's really an existential dilemma that I've been having. Okay. Let me post this in chat uh, a few times, and then we can take a look. Now, I'm jumping back to my store because I needed a visual aid here. Now, you see, this is my, this is my logo, right? Yes. This is my logo. It is a thumb screw, the mighty thumb screw, representational of all of all PC building. That's why I chose it. There is a but problem. there's something wrong with it. There's a it problem a that's off. been pointed out actually as of last week. What is what and is? Thanks it? and thanks to those of you in chat uh, or in, it was either in chat or in uh, in the comments who who pointed out there is a what is it about that a thumb screw? slight problem with my it logo. It looks a little off. What what is it? Well, the main problem is that the threading here. 
yeah. is is backwards. If you looked uh, at it, this would not be a righty tighty lefty loosey thumb screw. Right. Just looking at it, it would right. be a lefty tighty righty loosey. Oh, which, geez, which they do make for certain applications, but it's not. I mean, not that just doesn't roll off the tongue. Yeah, so no one would ever do that. Does not, in my opinion, detract at all from its badasseriness. Of course, I think it's still pretty cool. And well, the, so this is so this is the question that that we need to ask here is uh, now that this has been discovered and pointed out by people. Uh, we have several options that we can go about uh, okay. with, with dealing with it. So one would be to keep it a secret, not tell anyone. No one will know. Other so than the people a, who have already noticed. Shut up. Pretend. <laughs> second option is to pretend like it was intentional. Because I was thinking like, well, if it was a silhouette or like a shadow of something, then it would have appeared that way. No one's going to buy that. Yeah? See? Okay. So it might be intentional. Or uh, update all logos to match with international thumbscrew standards at extensive personal cost. So which of these uh, do you want to... Do you want to argue for here, Kyle? Which All right. Which one do you think I should go with? I well, okay. So, I think both both first op the the first two options are already out of the question. Okay. Because keep it a secret, no one will notice. Everyone's already noticed, and we've already made the public display. You're not supposed to point that out. We're just if I'm we, sorry. If it's, we argue and that becomes the it's, answer it's that people want there. to go with, then okay. that's what we go with. I'm, I'm just saying this is how I win my argument. You're being far too logical. This is part of the game. Okay. You ready to play? So what are you arguing for? <laughs> all right. So I'm going to argue for update all the logos to match with international thumbscrew standards at extensive personal cost. Okay. And then in that case, I will keep it a secret. No one will notice. And I'm going to argue first. Now, here's the thing. People don't notice small details like this. Everyone I'm tweet tell it. You exactly everyone, why. everyone tweet it. Because as you can obviously tell already, we got Johnson's up the yin yang. Johnson's going all over the place. And I think that that's because people, you know, it's, it's like a tiny little thing. Besides that, I think it might have been intentional anyway. I'm actually going to combine both of my answers and argue both of them. You can't do that. It might have that. been intentional too. That's a sword fight first. And if you were to shine you a flashlight. can't pick two answers. If you were to shine a flashlight at the thumb screw. Good God. That what would appear on the wall, then that would, then that would be accurate. And since it's not actually a thumb screw, it's a representation of a thumb screw via a, a, a silhouette. And then, then it's perfectly okay. Then, then you should rebrand your shirts as like Paul's Thumbscrew perfect. Shadow logo. Perfectly acceptable. <laughs> my Thumbscrew Shadow. You should check out the Shadow Thumbscrew okay. uh, on my shirts. That's that's how you need to brand them then. Because then everyone will be like, but wait, the threading doesn't. Oh, no, you're right. Paul said it was a shadow. So I, I got gotcha. you. It's people, perfectly apparently, legit. Apparently when I said Johnson's up the yin yang, people, people thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> what? That's... It's, a, it's it's very befitting, actually. That is a how would you how would you title that statement on life? It was on like a uh, uh, wheel of fortune <laughs> phrase. <laughs> Uncomfortable U situation. Universal yeah. truth. Universal. <laughs> <Right. Downs laughs> right. All right. Um. So, uh, again, I think you should update all the logos with the international thumbscrew standard. Okay. At extensive personal cost. Um, because honestly, the extensive personal cost is not going to be that extensive. Um, it's going to be about as extensive as both of our Johnsons combined. Um, I'll tell you right now, I, I, I don't think it's going to incur that much of a cost for you or the consumers to just simply flip the image, right? I mean, get get some new... I, I mean, you're, you're selling these things like hotcakes, right? And so, like... You're selling these hotter than my Johnson. So eventually you're going to get sold out and you're going to have to restock anyway. So on those That's restocks, true. just create a new screen print. All right. Our guy at Vermont Green Printing Company is really solid. He's easy to work with. Go ahead and flip it so it doesn't become like this thing. Like, oh, did you get a Paul's Hardware shirt? Yeah, but the thumb screw's all wrong. Yeah, I know it's fucked up, man. Well, but I th I you don't want that to be the thing that people talk about your shirt. They want to, You want them to say, look at how freaking accurate... That's, this that's thumb screw wanted, is. That's why I wanted to shine the. It's the, accurate. You know, you know, daylight is the best disinfectant here, right? So that's why I wanted to, like, you know, <clears> open <throat> this 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 conversation up, so people could let us know what they thought. But if or or you could brand it as a shadow. Going back, but thumb going, screw I think this could work out to my benefit though, because often if you go back, like, and you look at like baseball cards and that kind of thing, like misprints, you know, like that original run of misprints that they had or something like that, those are often more valuable than like the actual cards. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously there's nothing you can do now about the ones you've already printed. So we have limited, you need to sell we have those. limited edition thumb screw That's... Uh, logo shirts on sale right now. Yes. At uh, Paul's Hardware. So you're now arguing my point. <laughs> you should change them so then th those ones will now be misprints. I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to 
<laughs> trying to show, like, <laughs> keep a positive. That's, that's how the segment goes, cow, folks. Man. All right, all right. I mentioned earlier. So what did you guys think? Let's let's check it out. Let's see what everyone thought. They probably the results here. Probably agree with all of us. Uh, everyone thinks wow. I should update all logos. But <laughs> I, I had a pretty close. I had a pretty close run at. Uh, no one will notice. Keep you did. Keep it a secret. You did. But still, yeah. people would rather pay the extensive personal <laughs> cost to have it fixed. I think that's just because they want me to pay its extensive personal cost. Well, that's good. That you have All them right. saying, "Take my money," which is always a good thing. Good, good. All right, one more question here for uh, for Sword Fight, and uh, I'm posting that in chat right now as well. Uh, so, go. as we have already mentioned on the show a couple times, Kyle is getting married. So Indeed. next week. Because I won't be here. Marriage and stuff like that. He's not going to be on the show. He he has committed to coming back the week after, because his <laughs> and the week after that. Because his honeymoon. You're not your real honeymoon isn't like a couple months from now, right? That's in when is that? That's November. November. Yeah. Okay, so, so I'll be fine after that. We going on a more extensive one, but just for next week though, uh, we do we we're, the show must go on. I was gone a little bit in June, and and Kyle uh, did some shows there. I assume I didn't really pay any attention. I did. Um, but I got to keep the show going while Kyle's gone. So who should the guest host be? Because we, you know, this isn't a one-man show. Going to bring somebody else on. So I've just posted a list of potential guest hosts in chat based on your responses. The uh, guest host who's listed here will have no other choice but to come and guest host on the show with me next week, despite having okay. zero prior notice uh, to now. Okay. So uh, Kyle, which of these people do you want to argue for? And then I think. I think we should each choose a horse yes. in this race, okay. and then we'll pit them against each other. All right. So uh, we I like have it. we have we got Luke from Linus Media Group. I try to I try to choose some like you know effective uh, you know people from Linus Media Group we might bring in. So we got Luke and we got Turnip. <clears throat> All right. uh, we also got Jay's Two Cents, of course. MKBHD, Austin Evans, Jerry, AK uh, Barnacles, uh, Lauren, AKA Tasty PC, because Kyle already gave her a shout out last week. That was. <laughs> Yeah, let's team. let's call it a shout out. We also got jo and Joanne, <laughs> Tech Lover, of course, and then Kyle. Uh, what? Okay. No, I can't be one of them. I'm not going to be here. I'm not physically going to. If, if I won't even people, have a computer. If people vote for it, though, then what? Else? Don't vote for me. What can? You Don't do? vote for me as the special guest on the do? show I already All regularly right. host that I won't be here for. I can't be especially. Right. It doesn't make You're sense. Right. I put turnip on there. I forgot fire pole, though. I should have put fire pole. Ah, fire pole. All right. Um, fire pole. All right. So I'm going to pick first, okay. and I'm going to go first since you did last time. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with MKBHD. All right. All right. And here's why. Wait. Now, no, no. But you need to say why he would be better than the person I cho choose. Okay, so you have, really, I have to hear really who you're... really trying to get violent here. I have to hear. Okay. All right. Pit. Okay. So I'm going to go... It's like Celebrity Deathmatch, then. Uh, like, well, MKBHD uh, would totally beat down your guy. Type of thing. Oh man, what, what that's do you got? A, so. But now, see, you've already you've already shown your cards here, so now I got to choose a ringer to go in against MKBHD. Yeah, and I think that's gonna be. Uh, what are you gonna do? That's gonna be Jerry. I'm going for Jerry. Jerry. All yeah. right. All right. So okay. MKBHD, why why should he be on the show? All right, MKBHD. Uh, first off, he we haven't really worked with him directly as often as like maybe some of the other popular tech tubers like Jay and, and Jerry and stuff like that. Um, and also, I think it'd be really great to get him in here, maybe not physically in here, but, you know, do a stream or whatever. And since we do, like, cruise in the show every episode with a drink, mm -hmm. just to get him really wasted. Oh, and yeah. just see what he's like when he's, like, completely blitzed out of his mind. That would be... Because he's, he's such a calm and collected guy. And he's, like, you know, I, I feel like he's probably one of those guys that has a lot of self-control. And I'm, I just want to, like, just rip that apart and just, like, give him... Like copious amounts of alcohol and like force feed him shots and like you know every time there's a Johnson you all do a shot of Fireball or something like that and I just want to see him like completely wrecked and just, and then talk about talk about like Apple phones and like Androids and shit and just like <laughs> yeah like because you know you know there's gears turning in his head he's a smart intelligent guy but I feel like he holds a lot back you know he like he says mm. the facts and whatnot but I feel like if we loosened him up we'd see this whole other side to him it'd be like you know the Wayne Brady sketch with the uh, from Dave Chappelle oh yeah that's a classic one. <laughs> <laughs> it would be it would be classic. That's PCP, cla man. That's PCP, man. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know you like to get wet. <laughs> that, that's that's that was, exactly that that's classic. exactly why we should have oh, MKB entry on. Blow up the is, chat is, if you is agree. Wayne Brady gonna have to smile. <laughs> okay, so gonna have to choke a bit. Sure, choke a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, who doesn't want to see that? No, I've forgotten who, who doesn't want to see that. No, no, you make so it you completely forgot argument. who you were but, rooting for. But, which, it's so and good. I would almost agree with you if it weren't for the fact that Jerry coming on the show would really, I mean, think of it. Like, 
we could have a remote in from Seattle, and he could be taking a poop nap the entire time. Just and imagine, just imagine the audio, like the just the ambience that, that would bring in to the show. Imagine the number of viewers who would tune in just to, to watch be a poop. part of that situation. <laughs> No, I would. I mean, I would. I would like to. I. I always like talking to Jerry about like uh, 3D printing and stuff like that. That's an area of technology associated with computers that I really feel like I haven't done too much in. I've dabbled in very, very lightly, but I'd love to get into a bit more. So I think. I think he could have some compelling stuff to discuss with there. Um, we could have him just talk shit on Windows 10 for days at a time. <laughs> or Microsoft as a company or as a Microsoft whole. Microsoft as a company, because because <laughs> if you follow Jerry on Twitter, he's. He's there's, he's pretty quick on the trigger with with pointing out Microsoft shortcomings. There's a bit days. of history there, um, but but no, we don't blame him at all for that. Yeah. Um, but all right, so th those there's my arguments. Uh, let's let's see what you guys thought. Cell said I can host no poop nap here. Uh, no no poop poop naps from no poop. Cell. All right, let's see the results. This is going to be oh. I don't blame you at all. Wow, people really want Luke on the show. He's because he's a sexy beast, and he you're is. all secretly attracted to him. Right. Or or publicly right. now. We all know. We all it's know you want to. It's been you brought hit to that. light. You want to hit that? Okay. Jay was second. How? I uh, do. Turnip came in third. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the people who Turnip beat out. <laughs> vote, That's sad. But vote for Turnip. I mean, he's really got a, like a groundswell of support behind him with that whole voting campaign. Um, anyway. So does this mean if we can't get Luke or Jay, you are literally going to be talking to a Turnip right, for so next I week's just episode? Have a picture of a Turnip. Okay. Uh, Austin, poor Austin, got three votes down at the bottom. Oh. Wow, your horse only got five votes. I know. MKBH. I guess I wasn't as compelled. Marquez. I'm, I'm, as compelling. It's also because you put I the, think the if, straw poll if, in before. Uh, yeah, if people if you had put known that your plan was to get him wasted, I think that might have swayed people's opinions a little I bit more. So. Okay, uh, let me let me <clears throat> let me drop the bombshell of a twist here at the end. None of this mattered. Because we already have a because Jay's out. Jay's already agreed to host <laughs> next week. Yay! 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 Jay's gonna be here. Well, not That's... here. Uh, at at my place. That'll be cool. Anyway, nice. So Jay, thank you for um, for doing that. And he um, was number two on the list. And so he was number two on the list. So I'm sure all of them are happy. <laughs> I don't want to refer to him as like he came in second. To Luke. You're my silver. You're my silver <laughs> family guy. <laughs> that would be terrible. No, so, Jay, Jay, if you're watching, none of that's true. We like you way better, way better than Luke. All right. Okay. Awesome. Turn up. Moving along. Sweet. What's what the hell is next? I don't know. I don't either. I don't care anymore. It's a mess. <laughs> it's our sponsor spot. Oh, it's our sponsor spot. We have our first sponsor, a sponsor on awesome on... hardware. This is amazing. We need to go quick. We're this is a big behind. deal. This is a big deal. All right. So okay. Wait. I'm, I, uh, wait many of you guys third. saw Paul's mug. <laughs> it's like or we, his... just, we realized we have a spot. So like, wait, what do we do? What happens? <laughs> uh, uh, what? We're totally prepared next? for this. So um, Paul's going to do the lower third. I'm going to get the sponsor product out. No, no, it's not sword. Fight. This is our first sponsor, and Yay. you guys saw uh, Paul's glass, the Gigabyte glass. That was a foreshadowing because we were going to. Uh, we are now featuring the Z170X. Check it out, gaming G1 motherboard from Gigabyte. Oh, it's right here. I actually got. We uh, we had a meeting with Gigabyte last week. We did, and uh, one of the awesome reps there handed this to us and said, "This is the first." Sample that we have handed out in the U.S. It is. Uh, we have it. No one else. It's has right it. here. Well, they might. I, no, I don't. I, maybe they I do now. But at the time when she handed it to us, don't belittle how special the moment was. So we're gonna go we're ahead. We're doing a and live unboxing for our sponsor it. spot. So guys, a uh, big thank you to Gigabyte for supporting the show. Of course, that's yes. that's, that's the main thing here. But uh, we decided that if we're gonna have a sponsor, we want to make it somewhat interesting for you guys. And since you like hardware, and since a hardware vendor is sponsoring us, we're like, well, why don't we just do a quick live unboxing? We're gonna try to do it really fast. Um, we can't show you everything right now because this is a Z170 board, which is not released yet. And there are certain rules about what we can show and what we can't show. But nevertheless, we're going to press forward and we will All right. we'll try it. Uh, Z170 is the chipset, uh, so, not the model. Well, Z170 is a chipset and usually motherboard manufacturers take the chipset and embed it in the model name. So, so the model of this board that we're looking at is the Z170X-G1 Gaming, part of the the Gigabyte G1 gaming series. Yes. And we've even gone so far as to include another camera. We're we have a close-up cam. Start, start taking it out of the box, Kyle. Let's we have a money out. shot cam for you guys. All right, try so to let's, get, let's go gonna ahead. We're going to try to get some close-ups here. I'm going to... And we're going to try not to show any any important things that's on our computer screen. This is... Here we, we go. This has all been planned out. In dress rehearsal, this went, went really well. So um, we, we didn't have a dress rehearsal, Paul. You're right, we didn't. I think that was a dream you had. Where's my webcam? Ah, there it is. 
Ah. Oh, there it is. There's a first look right there. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you all the good you stuff. You can see, you're, and you're you're on camera too, but I'm being blocked. Oh, all right, so okay. There's, there's that. A little bit of reflection so you there. Just, just keep rolling, keep rolling. Here we Kyle. go, here we go. I'll, I'll kind of tell people what we're seeing here. All right. So Kyle has now uh, broken through the outer structure oh. and uh, is removing the plastic frame. We should have some sexy so music inside. playing. I wish we had like planned some sexy music. Like, uh, like some porn this, groove. This webcam is also uh, on completely automatic settings oh. right now. Oh, oh. oh um, my god. So that's why, oh. that's why it's going to be trend. So yeah. So Gigabyte with their G1 Gaming, uh, they've taken the black and red theme and they've added white. It um, kind of looks like a Transformer impressive. too, right? It does look a lot like a Transformer. You've got some accents on the heat sinks up here and everything. The Optimus um, build. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that's that's gonna that's there's gonna be some awesome black, white, and red builds. I think they've board. also got some uh, some holes here for water cooling tubes. They have. If you want to do uh, some water so cooling cool for the uh, VRM, the yeah, absolutely. And I kind of like this uh, this plated these plated accents. These are actually metallic accents over the PCI. They're steel. PCI. Those are steel. Those are steel. Steel reinforced ah. PCI Express graphics connectors. And it looks very stylish. For all the unpopulated slots that yeah. might be seen from a this from is a side the new window. hotness, and the idea here is that um, you've got a lot of weights with your graphics cards on those slots, and so yep, uh, yeah, by by reinforcing them with steel and not just having plastic, then maybe they will they will hold up a lot. A and lot look, better. look, you've got dedicated sound chip right here, and of course you've got the trace layout. I think these are LEDs that light up the amp up audio. Yeah, Soundcore three D. It's, all, it's actually got LEDs down on the lower left and, and on the top right. Yes, so it kind of balances it There's out a, a bit game. more. Bring it, bring it a little bit closer to the camera. All right, sure. I, get this, I can't do close up. Look at this horrible this box out of the way. Oh. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Damn, look, we got a lot of SATA ports. We got gaming. we got two front panel USB. Two USB three ports right there. Awesome. Nice. Look at these OC buttons. We got OC and Eco. Yeah. So you got your so power saving service and buttons for overclocking and whatnot. Performance. Service mounted power. I really love. This is Gotta on autofocus too, thank God. Oh, thank God. Yeah. I don't know how I would handle this webcam. No, you mean we way. totally prepared for this and we yeah. already knew that to be true. Okay. Uh, Dual BIOS. Look at this. Two M.2 slots. Both 32 gigabits per second. Yeah. 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 It's so only slot some uh, HyperX Predators so, in there. So yeah. I keep wanting to say things and I'm I can't. <laughs> what? Oh, I know. Right. <laughs> I can't. No, I didn't even say that. I know nothing. Tell I know me nothing about any of anything. Yeah, I, um, <laughs> I don't even know what we can and cannot say right now. So. Uh, really, it seemed like as long as we didn't show the back of the box, that was the main thing. So there's some okay. specs. There's some specs about the processors that we're not allowed to talk about yet. Right. Uh, and other other stuff like that. Let's look at I/O though. People want to see I/O. Uh, check out all that going on right there. Damn. Um, Six so these, these yellow ports are Gigabyte's uh, DAC audio connections. So these are if you want to connect. Audio, like an external DAC, these are going to give you a lot cleaner power. And we got uh, Wi-Fi. Which is nice. You got 802.11ac Wi-Fi. Look, a PS2 port, mouse keyboard. A lot of people. We haven't so, forgotten. People excited about that. Never forget. Tons of USB. There's a lot of USB 3.1 on this board. You got a Type C connector right Yee. there. Um, integrated. Uh, uh, there's still graphics outs for the because uh, there's still an iGPU with, yeah. these, with the chips that will go with these boards. And um, I don't know. Using. I don't know what the white and the red ports are. Uh, but Gigabyte does have a thing now that you can use easy flash. to update. Yeah, Easy Flash, you can use to update your BIOS without having a, a processor or memory installed, which right. is cool. And yep. um, yeah, so I think we should probably wrap this up because we do, yes. have, we do have more show going on. But there is like first ever real look. Well, I know some of these were shown at Computex and stuff. But no, yeah, this is yeah. the actual production sample. In person this look. Is, this is what it's really going to be. Um, and Gigabyte, thanks for sponsoring us, and thanks for letting our audience take a, a first look at this new G1 Gaming Z170 motherboard. Yeah. Z170X Gaming G1. Love hope, it. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. Love it. And that is all for our sponsor spot. That was brought to you by. That's the name of our sponsor spot. That's my We're thing. calling it brought to you by. That. So right. that was our first ever brought to you by segment. Yay, brought to you by. All Brilliant. Right. Let's do uh, let's do another Johnson check because I think we got more Johnson. Johnson check. It's a Johnson check everywhere. everywhere. Oh my gosh! I just got an email from I, Gabby from Gigabyte. Please do not it? do the advertisement. <laughs> Stop. Uh, everything Stop is under now. NDA. We are strictly. Oh wait. Oh no no no. That's a different email. You're gonna be sued by Intel and okay. Lose all of your credibility. Sweet. Mm. Gabby. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> People are dizzy now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let me just sound off my Johnsons really quick. We got William from Seattle. 
Beautiful. Hey, William. Uh, thank you for buying a CPU cooler shirt. You're double in, Johnson. If you're in Seattle. Because William's on my list, too. Nice. All right. Oh, yeah, we'll do all the double Johnsons collectively. I uh, wonder if you're going to Prime. Maybe you'll see uh, William at, I'm gonna, yeah. at PAX Prime. William, if you're going to be at PAX Prime, I will be there. Might be pretty sweet. We've also got Ra Raquel. Raquel, uh, I'm not going to say your last name, from Boston. From nice. Boston, uh, where the other PAX, where PAX East is. Lovely, lovely convention over there. Thank Wonderful. you, Raquel, for also picking up a CPU cooler shirt. And then we've got Johnson for Alex from Salem, New Hampshire. Oh, Salem. Salem, Salem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you say, you say that like you're familiar. I with say it like I was born there. Your beer looks tilty. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> make sure it's straight. Okay. And then we got one more Johnson from Tony from Perry, Georgia. G G A is Georgia. That is, that is a yeah. That that's totally be Georgia. Georgia, Georgia uh, CPU cooler shirt. Everyone loves yeah. the CPU cooler yeah, shirt. Near, near Damn. Atlanta. Yes. Uh, yeah. Guys. So uh, Johnson's all around. Johnson. Uh, that's a double Johnson for Tony as well. Also got Jackson, Conrad, David. And I forget if I already said William or not. Johnson Jackson. Johnson Jackson. <laughs> Johnsons to all you fine folks. Uh, thank you guys for uh, watching the show. And thank you for participating in our little Johnson thing that Th we do. Thank you for Johnsoning. <laughs> thank you for us, Johnsoning. With all of us. Thank you for Johnson. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's move on. All right. The rest of my half of the show is all news. <laughs> it's all news, but I have a segment here that's a segment by itself, which is a special news segment because it's Skylake. Because uh, it's a Skylake frenzy, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to keep up with the lower thirds here. Oops, no, oops, no, that's oops, not there anymore. Oops, oh no! Oops. Now we have no lower thirds. What? I don't know. Where's news? Should we have news in here? So oh, there it is. Wait, wait. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm tweeting the show again because we're at okay. 380 viewers. I oh. want to try to hit 400 again. 400 would be beautiful. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks to all you guys who are watching. Our Johnsons are growing, going strong. We so and we have um, keep them up. We do. We do have the benefit of of like, I mean, we have, this is the first time we've had like pre-release hardware on the show that we've just been like, look, it's pretty exciting. I'm kind of. I was happy about that. We're so professional. We, we were talking about this last week. I'm like, wait, we could do that. Yes, we could. We've come all such right. a long way from chugging beer and acting like idiots. I know. Oh, wait. Totally legitimized we're, now. We're still doing it. All right, that. so uh, this is this is my Skylake news segment. So I'm going to talk about a bunch of Skylake news, and then I have a little bit more news to talk about, and I'm going to try to go through this quick because we are on a time limit for today's show. Yes. Um, we do have a cutoff. All right, so Haswell Refresh. Uh, no, Skylake S. This is a comparison. <laughs> this is from benchlife.info, which is a Chinese website, and um, it's not translated. So, right, Chinese. here are some benchmarks uh, that have been leaked from Skylake. These are leaked benchmarks that, that could be completely nonsense uh, and not true at all, but uh, I'm going to talk about it anyway. All okay. right, so um, basically you got the uh, i7 6700K and 6600K up here towards the top. Yep. Those are, for all we know, the new uh, Skylake processors. I'm sorry, this is not benchmarks. This is pricing. Ah. Pricing. Okay. Okay, so 6700K and 6600K are at the top. Price in US dollars is over on the right column. 6700K says $316. The 6700K? 6700K. 316? That's the quad core with hyperthreading. Okay, that's pretty uh, The 6600K says 225. That's the core i5, that's correct? That's the i5, and that's okay. the one that's a lot more popular because it's more reasonable. 225? Usually better bang for your buck. Yes. And then nice. even all the way down the list, 6700, 6600, all the way down, we have pricing. Uh, so 6700 non-K is 282, uh, 200 for 6600 non-K. Uh, and then we've also got the i3s down there at the bottom. You know, we have the T, the, the 60, the 6, the Skylake T, which is the lower wattage one. So those are 35 watt TDP. Yeah. It goes all the way down the chart. Now, I will say this, uh, looking at this list, I don't think we're going to see 6,700Ks selling for $316. No. Knowing, yeah, no, no, no. I don't, I don't think that's the case. You think this is BS? No, I don't think, I think this is, might be Trey, uh, I don't, I don't want to say tray pricing. This might be OEM pricing. I'm not using the wrong term. I forget. Anyway, this is the this is the price that the retailers would pay, would pay Intel. I see. Or that a distributor would they pay. They would then Intel mark up that to yeah, us. Yeah, to buy them in, in bulk. Okay. Or so this is this is the uh, pricing that the vendors get. So you think it's too good to be true to be retail price? I don't think this is going to be retail price. Okay. Because three hundred and sixteen dollars is twenty five dollars less than a than a than a. 46 than a 4790k sells for right, right now right and intel has no competition for these cpus that's what i was going to say comes to cpu performance other than themselves right why would they come out with a cpu that's new and then price it 
30 or 40 bucks cheaper than they're selling their current CPU that's still selling right now. Maybe they've just gone crazy. It wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense. Mm. So I think the good thing about this, assuming it's true, of course. Wholesale price. Because we don't know, yeah, wholesale pricing. Thank you, Shogo. Um, the good thing about this, assuming it's true, is that we're hopefully not going to see some <clears> of the, like there was speculation earlier on that like, oh, they're going to be grossly overpriced. They're going to be a lot more than like a 4790K was when it launched. This seems a little bit more in line with the pricing of those. So we'll probably just see Intel kind of continuing to do what they've been doing as far as the pricing and lineup of those processors. Okay, um, also apart from that pricing, we also have uh, a review of Skylake that was published this week. A lot of this stuff's coming out of China. Apparently they Figure. have no respect for NDAs. And also that because they're a day ahead. Or they're a day ahead. <laughs> and it's tomorrow. Or it was already launched. Yeah. Um, Lifted. Yeah, most of the rumors, by the way, say that Intel is doing is going to be actually launching this at Gamescom, and Gamescom is this week. Yeah. Manana. Well, it's manana. We we can't confirm or deny that, Kyle. Le Gamescom. I can. I can I'm excited confirm. though, but um, all right. So this is a Kit Guru article about the um the original uh benchmarks are published on TechBang, which is oh. very very suggestive. It's a very suggestive name. Don't Tech bang. Take it from me. <clears throat> But scrolling down here, we have a 6700K compared to a 4790K, and there's a bunch of percentage marks, so you can see, like, it's giving you, like, plus eh, 10, 10%, maybe 20%. They're pointing out the Cinebench score that was 30% higher, um, which is a pretty big jump, but everything else was in the plus 5 to plus 15 range, <clears throat> I think. And a couple were minus um, as well, which is harder to, 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 to say why. Right. That would be. Right. The expectation would be that the new architecture and the 14 nanometer process would lead to at least a uh, reasonable performance increase because Intel hasn't, like, I mean, granted, they've been, we feel like they've been slowing down with their launch cycle, but something new would still probably be at least a good 10 or 15% faster. Sure. Um, all right. But uh, so there's, there's some benchmarks, maybe. Should maybe we? benchmarks. Mm -hmm. uh, also, for so the, that's all I want to talk about the processor, but I wanted to go through some of the leaks for the motherboards. Now we've already shown you the Gigabyte motherboard here, yes, which obviously is a thing, so that's confirmed. Um, it's and out there. Hopefully, Gigabyte as our sponsor won't mind. I'm going to talk about some of the other brands and some of their boards that they've uh, been teasing here as well. Let's start with MSI, and they have this uh, Z170A X Power Gaming Titanium. I board. saw that. That looks pretty sexy. Look at that. <clears throat> so it's got a white PCB, but it's got silver accents. I think those uh, the heatsink, the VRM heatsink, as well as the chips, that they're actually silver, which is pretty unique. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, I'm, tra I'm trying to it. show people the image, and it's just. Might just need to reload it. There you go. That's better. That's very nice. <clears throat> I like I like the silver. I think uh, you yeah. know, Asus had their gold with the uh, the Z eighty seven boards or the Z ninety seven boards, and then uh, and now MSI is taken off with these silver. I think silver is is a bit more forgiving than gold. Also, a white PCB on that. And a white PCB is also very nice to see. Yeah. You don't see too many of those. Um, You're seeing a, a bit more of uh, what we saw Gigabyte do last generation with some of the coloring, different coloration on the PCB. So you can see there's kind of a lightning bolt going across here, the center, like a black lightning bolt that goes from the upper left yeah. heat sink down and across and down into the uh, chipset heat sink, which looks kind of cool. Right. Uh, of course, all your IO functions and stuff. I believe this in the top right actually separates. Yeah, actually you can see. It's a little board. So this little board pops off. So you could theoretically position that, like if you had the board installed in the case, position that somewhere outside so you yeah. can still have access to it. Right. That's pretty cool. Nice. Anyway, that's uh, MSI's Z one seventy eight X Power. Game. Love it. <clears throat> uh, Asus Love has it. also teased their ROG lineup, and yes, although we don't have as pretty of a picture that I can show you, that's all big. Here's their ROG lineup. Uh, so on Z one seventy for ROG, we got the Ranger, the Gene, the Hero, and the Extreme. Where's the formula? They, Asus? But they really have, have cut formula? down on the red, haven't they? They've cut down on the red. It's almost... because, because they like pioneered the red and black thing, and then everyone else Everyone else doing is doing it, it and so they're like, yeah, switching away from gonna, that. We're going to move away from that. But I mean, I don't like that silver. They are always inspiring um, innovation, aren't they? They are, and persistent perfection. Yes. I wonder if they will ever find incredible, though. They're still been, in search of it. They've been in search of it for, for so long. Okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, 
they're not our sponsor. We can make fun of their tagline. <laughs> That's right. All right. <laughs> sponsor so, us. So, I, I mean, the ROG series is always a, a great series of boards, though. I am excited to see what kind of crazy stuff they drop in there because that's what Asus likes to do with their ROG boards. 400! 400! 400. Yeah, 400 viewers. <laughs> you guys are... That makes me, it makes me so happy. <laughs> you all get a personal down. Johnson. Yes, personal... We have 400 Johnsons. We have one for each and every one of you, you right now. You don't want to see me from the waist down. And There's at least 200 Johnsons down erect. there. And another 200 Johnsons. Fully, fully erect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank well, you, guys. You got, yeah, you guys are wonderful. Thanks for watching the show. Thanks yes. for sharing the show with your friends. We yes. have a really fun time doing this show. Yeah, we, we do. hope you enjoy watching it. Um, At least 400 okay. of them do. <clears throat> let's, let's move along here. We're, we're moving along quickly, and I'm, I'm going to finish my show within an hour, my half. Okay. One other thing about the ROG boards is that they have teased this video, and this really was a tease. It was a really short video, um, showing their RGB lighting. Uh-huh. This is the first time, actually, I can say Asus... I've seen this before. Maybe not with your <laughs> ROG logo. Look how, see, that's a seven second video. What? That's, that's like the like Doom so trailer. Quickly. That's like a Doom like, look, 4 trailer. The, the LED backlighting on the ROG logo. All right, now Asus gets a lot of credit because they have they were first with lots of things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they MSI, were. MSI, though, MSI. Again. Did, I think they snuck in there with the RGB lighting on the motherboard with their godlike. They did. The X99 godlike motherboard, RGB lighting. I don't think there has been another motherboard with RGB lighting integrated. No, there hasn't. So Asus was not first to the game on this one. The other thing that I saw some people mentioning here was that the accents on the rest of the board are still red. Exactly. So, so what does it really matter yeah, to have RGB? I, I mean, I like that. I like that. But yeah, I would like to see a blackout version yes. of the board with the RGB or something like that. That'd or white. Cool. Or Yeah, or white. Yeah, that'd be cool too. All right. Um, and then uh, other than... And, uh, other than MSI, Gigabyte, and uh, ASUS, which are the two, uh, the three largest motherboard manufacturers, we also have ASRock, uh, EVGA, Biostar. So here's an article from Gamers Nexus showing some of those. So this is actually the wall in uh, at, at Computex. The wall. I was right here, and I went over some of these already. Uh, the thing was that not all these boards, when they're showing them at Computex, were in their final state. Yeah. Um, but here's wait, that, that's ASUS. Uh, so there's actually, this is another ASUS board, but that's their Z170 Pro, which look, looks a lot like their uh, X99 Pro series, white yes, and black. it does. Nice little, so it's solid entry, if that's an entry level. No, no, it's Pro. That's going to be, okay. that's going to be 200 to 250. The mid-tier right okay. there. Okay. Uh, but here's, here's ASRock um, with their Z170 Extreme 7. I really like ASRock boards lately. Yeah. They're I got to say, as far as up. design goes, yeah. they, they have a lot of cool designs for the boards. Um, it's very classy. It's not too they're over still, the top. They're still on the black and gold thing, and I can't, I can't say the black and gold thing has a long term. Like I don't know. I like for for a very few builds, it's perfect. For so many others, it, it doesn't work for me. True. Uh, from a color standpoint. But maybe not to a fan's. But here's their gaming that. series: you black and red. Black and red. Okay. Uh, here's a BioStar. Oh, oh, <laughs> here's a BioStar motherboard. This is their Commander Gaming. Z170. This one has an interesting look. This is like a combination. To me, this is a combination of like an, an Asus um, uh, Tough series and like a Gigabyte G1 Sniper series. Like, you know, the when Gigabyte was doing the green and black boards? Yeah. And they had like the... Because this has like, I don't know. The this gun is, shaped this is heat sink. It's kind of like a crosshair. It looks a little bit like a crosshair on it's like there. a rifle shape or a skull shaped heat sink says, on the chipset. It says gaming in big letters in case you didn't realize what your motherboard was supposed to help you do. Um, and then. <laughs> it's got instructions on and it. it. But it's, I mean, they're, but they're, they're, they're bringing, they're, they're stepping forward with the rest of the motherboard manufacturers. Oh, yeah. They got some shrouding going on here around some of the IO and some of the, uh, the, the uh, memory dilute, or the, the, the sound. Right. That's what I should, should say. And, and I've heard some, some BioStar boards out there yeah. can actually be decent overclockers as well. They can be. Well, especially last generation because you had, you had voltage regulation that was integrated. Yeah. This generation, I know nothing about any changes that have been made. Okay, here's an EVGA Skylake Z170 motherboard. Um, and this is just a nice... Like, EVGA, they... I, I really like how EVGA pays a lot of attention to aesthetics. Yeah. And... Even though, you know, I feel like they do some of that kind of flashy gamery stuff here and there, but I feel like they keep it within a sort of a realm of, of acceptability that um, my fan, I stopped my fan, um, that, that works for me. So I like this design. It looks like mostly black. You got a little bit of silver accents. Um, really cool looking heatsink there. I like how they kind of shaved the heatsink. 
Are those flames at the bottom, or is I, that... I don't think it's meant to be flames. I think this is just the shape of the heat sinks going on, okay. and they kind of cut it at an angle there to gotcha. kind of make an interesting look to it nice. there. But yeah. Nice. SLZ-170 board there from EVGA. As long as they're not flames. Uh, and EVGA also showed uh, their Stinger Z-170, so Mini ITX. That looked pretty and sweet. And then they have the For the Win and the Classified. Yeah, which is the top, middle, and top right one there. Lovely. And then, of course, the gigabyte one, which why would you want to look at this picture when we just showed yeah, you Yeah, the real it's thing. Silly. silly. <laughs> uh, there are some other gigabyte boards, though, as well, though. Yeah. Um, so you can see they've got the G1 Gaming that we showed you, which is primarily, it was, has a lot more white accents. Uh, the one in the middle, which is also a G1 Gaming Series Gaming 7. Yeah, and then they got their um, Gaming And then the five. Gaming 5, I think, yeah. is on the left. Right. So, yeah, all of those have pretty distinct actual designs there. Yeah. Which is, which is different. Um, we already talked about MSI. All right. Lovely. Beautiful. Uh, I'm out of time. Yes, you but are. No, no, I still... I, all right. Um, <laughs> I'm going to keep... Oh, my God. You still have so much. I, it's okay. Actually, my real news stuff is stupid, and I can skip most of it. Okay. Or a lot of it. All right. Sweet. But I did want to bring this... This story I found very interesting. So, Skylake maybe is launching really, really soon. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> In a few hours? Who knows? I didn't... You... None of us have said anything that. Like was that was a guess. That was okay. a huge guess. Um, but Intel, what, what, what else is Intel doing with the Skylake architecture? That is uh, the question that this article answers. And the answer is making a freaking ridiculously specced out set of server processors. So uh, 28 core Xeon Skylake CPUs. That's what we're talking about right now. Right? 28 physical cores? 28 freaking cores. Holy moly. Okay, uh, so this is their Perly server platform. So P-U-R-L-E-Y. And is it it's gotta be hyper-threaded, so it's 56 threads? Uh, it's, I, I don't know. <laughs> I do not have it. So uh, we're talking about uh, the Perly platform is targeting different applications about two years in the future. Um, they have Skylake EP, Skylake EX, and Skylake F. Which I just imagine is like Skylake, you're fuck y'all. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Sure. Um, but but yeah, just just some of the ridiculous specs they have going on here. So this is this is a highly configurable platform designed for enterprise cloud uh, and high performance computing as well as storage and network applications. Uh, this could have dual socket, quad socket, and octa socket support. Okay. So eight sockets. Eight CPUs each on one, one board. Each one housing a 28-core CPU. Uh, <laughs> you need a beefy power supply just for the uh, CPUs. Yeah. I mean, this is all this is all like enterprise-grade stuff and everything, but, I mean, we can still drool over it on the, oh, on, on the consumer market. Uh, so, yeah, 28-core CPUs, each of them capable of up to six-channel DDR4 memory support. Um, and then there's a new socket that they're talking about. So it's socket, the, the socket code name is P0. And it's five feet. By, it's yeah, it's like five. Feet. It's ridiculously huge. <laughs> you can kind of see. I mean, this is this is the Xeon. This is the picture of it that they have right here, which you can kind of see. But it's just it's just way bigger. Oh my God, it's way bigger than uh, the chode socket. Wait, wait, where? It's like it's like fatter than it is tall. That's a total yeah. chode CPU right there. Um, so, <laughs> by definition. So you have something called the Apache Pass Scalable Memory Buffer which means up to 6,144 gigabytes or over 6 terabytes of memory per socket. Oh, God. <laughs> per, per socket. Um, or... 6 terabytes you, of RAM? Or if you have a 4 socket... Yeah, of RAM. <clears throat> oh, my God. Or if you have a 4 socket machine, 24,576 gigabytes of DDR4. Not bad. <laughs> TDP is only 100, 165 watts, which is, which is not bad. Uh, it's going to support 512-bit AVX3 instruction sets. Um, and there's just a bunch of stuff here. Uh, so the socket uh, that they're talking about here has 3,467 contacts. Wow. Um, so more than 3,000 balls. I mean, they, they said it's LGA, but then they said it's about 1,500 more than socket 2011. Yeah. So 20, socket 2011 is, is 2,011 contacts. This yeah. they're adding 1,500 more ish, or in that ballpark. So that's pretty crazy. Love so contacts. I wanted to go over this article real quick, just because I, you know, I love those insane specs that are yeah. out there. And, yeah, you know it's fun fun to talk about those. Yeah. Um, all right, and that's all 
I think I should just end my half of the show. I, I think I think that's solid. Because Kyle's, had a solid half. Because Kyle's on a deadline. I am. And if we hit and a certain if, period, if we don't, his fiance is gonna barge in here and, and end the show for I us. I will just be, she'll just kill me. I'll be dead. She has to marry Kyle. <laughs> He's expendable. But I will be expendable and I'll be dead. So, th- so this is really to. I can mention what I was going to talk about. Uh, Windows 10, so there's some privacy issues. Yeah. Uh, I'll post a link in chat to an Ars Technical article that shows you how to fix some of them. That's pretty useful. Um, Windows 10 is catching on pretty fast. That was my other article. And actually, there's a Steam hardware survey already that shows Windows 10 has outpaced Linux uh, machines in yeah. the Steam hardware survey. That's surprising. So that's shown that Microsoft at least is doing a good job with early adoption and right. providing the upgrade pass to people. And I mean, when it's free, you get a lot more takers. Yep. Uh, there's a next gen Toshiba SSD. That one's uh, that was just filler. Uh, and then and then there's these i7 5775C reviews coming out for Broadwell desktop parts. Which and everyone's like, I don't who cares? care. Who cares? Because yeah. everyone's talking about Skylake and Z170. Right. And Broadwell only really launched because Intel said like we're going to support Broadwell for Z97. And I think they just wanted to like, I don't know if they were, did anything legally binding for that. They but probably just wanted yeah. to stick to AMD, like, look what we can do. Yeah, but uh, We can make a crappy i7 and not care. Exactly, but, yeah. but Broadwell, for anyone who's like really excited for Broadwell on the <laughs> desktop, yeah, just don't, don't even, don't yeah. even bother. Mm-hmm. Um, wait for Skylake. Indeed. Okay, that's all for my half of the show. Sweet. Uh, thanks, you guys, for watching. Yeah. Uh, if you're watching live, stick around. We'll be right back in just a moment. Yep. We're going to cut the stream, but we'll be returning. Yes. If you're watching uh, the re-upload, thanks for watching, and hit the like button on the channel, and, uh, of course, click the link where you can go over and watch Kyle's half of the show. One final thing to mention before we go, and that is that due to extenuating circumstances, this uh, half of the show is most likely going to be uploaded tonight, as in actually on Tuesday, the same night we do the show. Kyle's half of the show may or may not do that, but it'll be up eventually. Don't worry. I'm going to try. I mean, let's see how much I can we'll, get through we'll with this wedding stuff. And it's either going to be tonight, if yes. not tonight, tomorrow morning for sure. But uh, stay tuned for that, of course. And uh, if it's not available now, it'll be available soon. And Indeed. thank you guys for watching. Johnson, let's do one last Johnson check. Johnson, check. Let's do one last, one last Johnson check. All right, check. what you got? I don't know. What you got? I don't know. I need to update. You're, uh, refresh- Pat- you're a refresher. Patrick. Johnson to Patrick. Thank, thank you, Patrick. Wait, Patrick left, left me a message. He said you're awesome. Patrick, you are awesome. You <laughs> just, are awesome. Just, I'll just leave just this right here. here. Actually, you're Jackson awesome. earlier. <laughs> Jackson. Jack, Jack, we, we already gave Jackson his Johnson. We, we did. Johnson to Jackson. We did. He said, I made that sick, awesome sauce song, and I'm need of, he's in need of an artisan-grade coffee mug. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what those are. Well done. And I, right. I owe a few Johnsons to Alex for one. Uh, from Suwanee, Georgia. Another Georgian. Double Johnson to you, Alex, by the way, because hey. you're also on my list. There you go. Thank you for picking up a... An, oh, he got the, the hoodie. You got, a, you got a tri-blend hoodie. Not many people pick those up, but they are super comfy, so thank you for picking one of those up. And we've got another Johnson from Ethan. Is this Ethan uh, DMC, DMC Trolls? DMC, yeah, right there. Hey, DMC Trolls. Ethan, thank you very much for picking Johnson up a Ethan. small... Uh, CPU cooler shirt. And I have a Johnson to, to provide for Angela. Thank you. Angela knocked her kitty. kitty. Nice. Angela, thank you so much. I really hope you enjoy the shirt. All right. Wonderful. Cool. All right. Thank you guys so much Let's for joining us. Let's the show. Thanks for watching. Stay we'll tuned. Be back very soon. Five minutes. No, no, no. Give us like three minutes. Three minutes. I have to pee. So two minutes. Kyle's gonna pee. I'm fast peeing.